stab in the side. Kills most likely very vital organs in the side. It's nothing personal. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. I'm gonna search ya. Got a key card. Beautiful. Alright. I can play normal. MM, you're a gem. MM, you gemstone. Let me bask in your glory. Servers. But they're inactive. The network servers can't be far. I'm getting closer. Thermal lances? Better not play with that. Yes! At last. be too careful. Okay. Server room. Okay. This is their server room? I don't see them. They use the water from the bay to cool the servers. Clever! That's clever. That's clever. Because of how cold it is, it would make sense. Oh, so we have to raise them above the water level or something like that? Two-person activation required? Fuck. No way. I've got to find a way to do it alone. Rat. Don't need to rat. Okay. So... Two-person activation. Time before the second button is activated. Five seconds. That's not much time. Five seconds? Are you shitting me? Okay. Okay. I can't jump that far. Hmm. How would I be able to get across? Hmm. Because I have to switch that, so... Ah, oh, let's see. Too far. Okay. Is it really too far for my celerity on the other side? Just activate co-op mode forehead. Shut up, Brian! <laughs> I just recently got chased by a werewolf, and it's not you! I'm traumatized! Ah. I- can I even make that? Hmm. Hmm. Because I can't use my sol- Is there another way? Because I- It would make sense there, but- Hold on. Am I just missing something on the other side? Do to do. Hold on. Yeah, it's too far. Hmm. If the middle one was up, I would love that, but the middle one isn't up. You know what? Let's let me see if I can do celerity. So
two, three, four. Yeah. Oh, good. That activated that. Okay. Shit. Let me in, let me in, let me in. You know what? Hold on. I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna do it one more time and see if I can figure this out. Because I I wanna see if I can get the extra thing. There's an extra thing, and I wanna I wanna I wanna try and get the extra thing. Pardon me. Alright, so. Do you have the torches? Right here, sir. Good. Cut through this door. Fuck. Now. Uh let's see. Uh uh Kone. Formant. Uh, let's see. Accomplice. Formant. Uh, load results. Back. Uh. Oh, fuck. Uh, Corvus. Uh. Identity. Uh, so. Jaradori. Interrogation. Load results. Jara, give me a name. I want to find your shadow. Who is the other Corvus? Tell me! Go fuck yourself. He betrayed you. Why protect him? It's not her. I'm protecting. Her? Interesting. Who is she? Uh. Oh. Oh. Stop! Stop! Her name! Oh. Hilda! Hilda McCandrew! Are you shitting me? It can't be. Why on earth would you do that? Honey, we gotta go. Hilda. Honey, we gotta go. Come Damn on. Damn it. So she's the mastermind. Hilda. Business. I've gotta get a grip. I'm here for the virus. Oh, of course. I have to find the password. I can't fail now. Done. Done. It's time. Got it. Okay. So we also know who the traitor oh, is. Good. Get the hell out of here now. Damn, how y'all doing? Are you all okay? I wanna know, are you all okay? Phew. Ugh. And we found out that Hilda McAndrews is the traitor. Yikes! All I gotta say is, yikes. Pull it. Alright. Okay, we have an emergency. Oh. Stop it! Don't do that! It's, it's me! Mike! What the? Get a hold of yourself! Halsey? Halsey? Oh, fuck. Wait a sec. Shave and a haircut, two bits. Fuck. Fuck. Huh. 
Halsey? 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 Oh, shit, Halsey. Fuck. Incineration. No! Oh, fuck shit. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to get you out of there, honey. Okay. We gotta figure this out. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. How do we deal with this? Okay. Uh, a magnetic card reader. Okay. And a keypad that seems to be locked. Okay. Uh, maybe the head desk would have. Okay. Okay. Cool. Maybe head desk has it. Okay. Um. Uh. Blue. Okay. That opens that up. All right. Oh, fuck. Mom. Halsey. Hold on. I need to breathe. I almost like what? Ah. <sighs> Okay. Hi, hi, sweetheart. Honey? We do not have time to talk Halsey, right now. But how? Is it really you? No way. You can't be mom. Richard said you had been destroyed. It can't be you. I... 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 Uh, Richard lied to us. He pretty much was an asshole. He won't hurt us anymore. I mean, no, he, he's still alive. But Richard lied to us, okay? Just know that. Richard said the same thing about you. But why? He thought it was best for us. But he was wrong. So it's really you? Yes, honey. Mom? Okay. Focus. Okay, I need to find a code. I need to find a code. Okay. Code. Read. It's been really important. There's gotta be to find it somewhere. Inbox. Energy matter. T6 containers. Okay, T6? T6 containers. Where the fuck are the T6 containers? Um, okay. Um, okay, okay. T6 containers. Are they in here? Um, I don't know what they are. Uh, in fact, I'm running so slow! Okay. No! Leave me alone! Don't this hurt me! This machine supplies the gas and water to the containers. Or else what? You can't do a thing to me. I got the time. I have not got the time. Okay. Enough. She's, She's torturing me. <laughs> Please. Deserve it. <sighs> I'll never have pity on one of your kind. Okay. 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 Mom. Yes. I'm here, sweetie. T6. Okay. Uh, T6 containers. I'm not sure. Uh, okay. Uh, you know what? Just because it, I need to save time. Uh, okay. Um. Okay. Uh, notebook. Uh, you know, yeah, it's to save time. You know, it's save time. Enough, enough, enough. Okay. Uh, okay, what was the code? Uh, two, six, zero, uh, two, nine, six. Mom? Yes, honey? I'm here, Pumpkin. I sense fear here. Yes? Where are we? What's going on? Uh, well, uh, please, you gotta just... Uh, we're on an island, you're in danger, you kill the bad guys. Uh, trust me, honey. Yeah, you just gotta trust me. Trust me if you can. Please, just please. I'm coming. It's fine. It's almost over. I know you're yet. afraid, just let me help. That... That was my name. Yes, honey. Yes. There are a lot of things that have come back to me. So don't you worry. I'm in control of the situation. What? Hurry! I'm still scared! I know, I know. I know, honey. I can do this. Okay. Okay, now what? Uh... A dual feed system. Quick! Which of these pipes is the gas intake? Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, so, uh, there you are, uh, there, scientist key, okay, there's something, uh, nope, how much time do I got, seven minutes, okay, relax, just calm down, uh, no, relax, calm down, calm down, it's fine, calm down, oh, keep calm, okay, Okay. 
Try to look for things. Got a red security card, but I don't need that. Um, okay. <sighs> okay. No, sweetheart. Absolutely not. Open the container. Mom. Hi, darling. Hi, sweetheart. I was so sad before. Yeah. And then I started to get used to you not being there. And now you're back and it's all getting mixed up. Why? Why did you come? <sighs> Honey, I had to find you. I had to find you. For you, of course. To find you. I'd do anything for you. Because... I'm still your pumpkin? Yes, honey. Yes. You'll always be my pumpkin. Forever. I don't want to go back to the prince because they'll be mean to us! And it'll start all over again! No! I won't let them. You... You already left me for uh, Honey... They, 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 they told me that you were dead. It, it, what, what, literally, he's like, I, no, they told me you were dead. Richard had to say he destroyed you to make the prince happy. And he had to make me believe it to protect us. I didn't choose to lose you. It was so hard for me that I preferred to forget. I don't want, I don't want to see them again, ever. We're not crazy, sweetie. It's the world around us that's crazy. I want to go far away from here, Mom. Yes, yes, we'll go far, far away. Together. Okay, Let's get some things from the Institute and we'll leave. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Okay, Mom. That's what I want to do with you, Mom. All right, l allow me to open up this come thing, on, please, on, please. On. Oh, come on. Please open it up, please open oh, it up. Please, please, please. Halsey, Halsey. Oh, oh. Oh. Mom. Oh, sweetie. Oh, sugar fangs. Come here. Oh, sweetie, <gasps> come here. Oh, come here. Oh, oh, I'll never leave you again, sweet pea. Promise me. I promise, I promise, I swear. Come here. Oh, let's go, come on. Come on, get out of there. Get the fuck out of there. Get out of there. Fuck. <sighs> oh. You could have gotten information from the scientist? No, I'm just... Uh, gotta get going. Let's do it. Let's do it. Get ready to go. He won't see me coming this time. Gonna take a look. It's see. in better shape than the morgue. They didn't expect to have so many casualties. Disinfection in progress. Oh, fair enough. That must be where he is. So these are all like the victims of the attack. Wow, there's a lot of victims. Yeah. We did all that. Hmm, they've gathered his things to send to his family. Hmm, will they also get a medal and a pat on the back? Well, they're dead, so it really don't matter. Alright. Kind of exploring and seeing if there's anything I can do. But now there doesn't seem to be anything I can really do. <sighs> I can almost smell his presence. What an asshole. Let's do this. Point in the return. Fuck this. Hello, Catholic. You. How many innocent lives did you take to get here? It's time to put an end to this. I would be impressed if I wasn't so tired of all this. This time, you're alone. You can't harm me. None of your kind can. I forbid you to come any closer. 
My faith is my shield. Hmm. True faith. I've heard of mortals able to turn us away through the strength of their convictions. I'd never have believed it was anything more than legend. You have failed. Not yet. You're not infallible. As long as I have God on my side, I will be. I'll Indeed. break you. You and your faith. A touch of bravado. Now that you're cornered, nothing can stop us. You're done for. Huh. Hmm. Hmm, okay. That's enough. Get down on your knees. Okay. Please, Caleb, not with me. Okay. Your pitiful efforts to reach me won't change a thing. What's your plan here? To put a stop to you. By killing me. We are Legion. Killing one of us won't make the rest of us vanish into thin air. Yeah, see, no... I know that without you, your little army from St. Leopold is done for. I beg to differ. You are the cornerstone of this operation. If you were to disappear, the Society of St. Leopold would withdraw. We're not the only ones committed to this fight. If you truly trust them, then why take over control here? They needed guidance. You should never have exposed yourself. The Inquisition of Boston will die with you. No one will continue your fight. All of this energy wasted. Why? I have seen the consequences of your crimes. I have dried orphans' tears, tended to gaping wounds, calmed tormented minds. You spread your plague like rats. You feed off the human race. You're nothing but parasites. At least I don't deny my true nature. I know what I am. A creature superior to you mortals. But we're not just talking about humans here. You profane the very earth with your presence. Yeah, sure. From the shadows, you manipulate the fates of civilizations. You bring famines. You stoke wars. You seek to take control of the entire world. And you'll be the cause of its ruin. You know... Unfortunately, I do have to disagree with you because that's a human thing. Vampires' existence, sure, there are some such as um, a minor fraction of the Anarchs and the Sabbat who think they want to control the world. But we all understand and know better that humans are innumerable and destructive in their own manners. They're the ones who create all of these war machines, bombs, tragedies that come out of their own hands. You just want someone to blame, and you want vampires to be the one to blame. So, and technically, if we are taking the idea that Cain was the original starter of the vampires, we technically already reigned over. In the past, we led empires. Glorious civilizations carried the banner for their immortal masters. Slavery. That's your legacy. We built far more than we destroyed. Can you say the same? I smell nothing but destruction in your wake. What would you have me do? Faced with a creature stripped of all emotion, who sees you as nothing more than cattle. I've lost count of the number of dead bodies and broken lives. Fire is the only path to redemption. Down to the very last. Oh. Yeah, see, here's the issue here. I know that there are some motherfuckers who don't believe in you. One in particular helped me essentially get here. And he's a better priest than you will ever be. That may be what you believe, but there are others who disagree. 
What? The head of the SAD thinks he can use us to his advantage. And he's not the only one. Like so many terrorists moved like pawns on a geopolitical chessboard. I will never let that happen. It's above your pay grade. And you, you know, know it. it. I... must try. In the end, only one question remains. Why do you continue to fight when the outcome is already decided? Your demise is inevitable. Why do you refuse to accept it? All of these, like the Boston Court, Shu Fang, Protecting Kinds, sure. Doubt, whatever. But asking that question is asking why a lion should stop, like, why a lion continues to hunt for their pride. Why an alligator continues to slither within the swamps looking for prey. And to be, to be fully honest, like, I didn't mean to get all philosophical here and shit, but, like, listening to him put me in this position of just thinking, like, bruh. Vampires can't stop who they are. They can't. Not without torturing themselves profusely and giving into the beast and then killing everyone around them. You asking why it, we don't accept being killed off is like asking why humans who have been constantly destroying this world, constantly destroying each other, why they exist. Vampires are predators. They hunt. You can struggle. It's the natural order of things. The fight will only heighten my primal instincts. No creature can resist the Almighty. I am here for only one thing. I am a monster. Your predator. That's impossible. You're my prey. A sheep that has become separated from his flock. I'm hunting you. I'm going to show you the price you must pay if you come after me. This is impossible. Now, you will die. Stay back! Deus meus. Why did you end me? I'm surprised he's not sick from drinking all of that blood. I guess it depends on what kind of blood he takes. Especially a blood of the man of truth faith. That's quite interesting. <sighs> Richard, what are you doing here? The fuck? Hazel sent me. I'll take over from here. She planned for everything. You best oh. go back to see her. What do we do about him? I'll take, I'll take care of him. Tell her, Tell her the SI is under, is under control. Under control. Oh. Good work. Good work, Caleb. Okay, this is a bit of a twist, but I, I like it. Oh, okay! I guess it's a good thing we didn't kill Richard. You could have increased your understanding about Sanford's strange power. Maybe, but I didn't, so... Fuck off. <laughs> Whew. We fucking did it. We fucking did it. Holy shit, we did it. We did the thing. We win the point. Holy crap. <sighs> Love it. <laughs> Let's finish this. We did it! Uh -huh. We finished? Maybe? Okay, let's find out. Uh. Miss Fang? I heard you were back. It's over now. Indeed. Not yet. 
At best, we've won ourselves more time. Your wounds. What did they do to you? It wasn't easy. Don't lie to her, it just it wasn't easy. It was pretty rough. They caught me and tortured me. It was a close call. How did you manage to escape? <laughs> I'm a tough... It would take more than that to destroy me. And that's a good thing. Stanford is dead. Do you think that will be enough? Others will come to hunt us. We must be ready. Like prey who have discovered their power. They know they'll be devoured if they lay down their weapons. So it'll never be over then. Bring them back to line, we'll take that. Things will never go back to the way they used to be. At least now, we'll have a chance to defeat them. We're stronger and more experienced, but there are more of them. So it'll take more than just brute force. As usual, we reign from the shadows through manipulation. Do you think this is the end of Boston? Not it. Like I said, we've won a reprieve. We must use this time to adapt. Disappear. That's up to the prince to decide, not me. That's not what I was talking about. I meant that feeling you get. Your urge to leave. The beckoning. I don't think it will ever go away now. But can the court still count on you? I need you. What are you going to do? We got too much shit to do. We got too much shit to do here. Just run. We can't run. We cannot just run right now. We need to stay here. This is not the time to run. Especially if we're going to have people survive. I can't leave the court. There are still many matters that must be attended to. It is my duty to stay and help the prince. I'm happy to hear that. While you were gone, I saw just how much everyone here needs you. I'm not staying for them. The reason doesn't matter. It's the right choice. What's going to happen now? We need to clean house. There are some who decided to play against the others. This must end. There's no way we can win the war if we don't put a stop to the infighting. And you're in the best position to clean up the court. You might be right. It might be time for me to get involved in its affairs once again. What about me? What part will I have in all of it? You must have some thoughts about it. I'm tired of waiting. Tonight the prince will give you anything you want. But what about tomorrow? Who knows? Let's seize our chance, Galeb. You want to embrace me, and it's what I want, too. Uh, without the prince's permission? Beryl claimed the only reason you were interested in me was to replace him. Don't let him be right. It's up to you. You need to decide now. What's going to happen to me? Why are we- why are we considering the fact that we need to kill her? We don't know. We've always had the plan of turning her. We've always had the plan of turning Fang. What- what? Uh, what? How is the other option even a question? It's- we're- Suckle up. It's time, Fang. You're ready to become one of us. That look of love, Jesus Christ! Open up the wound, then probably not shown. He'll exchange his blood with hers, etc. Et Brian is gremlin walking. That's great. Um, okay. Me. Uh, Ma'am, thank God you're here. When I found out that Hazel had sent you out there, I really thought that. Uh, are you all right? You're not hurt. <sighs> I've been better. I'm a little shaken up. That's all. 
I'm having a hard time wrapping my mind around what I just did. You survived a suicide mission. That's what you just did. It's a miracle you made it out without a scratch. Listen, I know it's not a good time, but we need to talk. Come back to my rooms with me. What for? Not here, ma'am. I'll tell you more once we're there. It's... important. And personal. Are you coming? Ooh. Here's an issue. If I go with her, she's probably gonna try to convince me. Oh, I just did my best. I was just wanting, thinking of doing it for you. If I avoid her to see the prince, she could probably run. I think if I confront her, then I'll be able to get to her. And yet, hmm. Hmm. You know what? Let's talk. Since you're so fucking obsessed with me at this point, Hilda. Let's talk. Alright, I'm coming. Do you want me to ask Sylvia to send up a vessel? You must be starving. I don't want anything from you. Excuse me? Jara Drory. She was there, you know. She told them everything. Everything. I don't understand a word of what you're saying. It's been a long night. You should get some rest. You shouldn't have invited me to your room, I then. I know what you did. You and Drory, you sold your asses to the humans. You wanted to wipe us out. You gave them everything about Hazel, the council, the whole fucking court. And then you threw your accomplice under the bus. You really have no fucking honor. You disgust me. M.M. And what for? Power? Were you planning to rule Boston? Is that why you got rid of Jara? You wanted to keep the throne all to yourself? You don't understand. It was a necessary sacrifice. Oh, of course. You know what I mean. You did the same thing to those Anarchs. That was different. It's true. What I did, I did for you. For us. For us? You got some fucking nerve. I had a debt. The SI. My back was up against the wall. I had to do something. Oh. And for Jar too? You had to do something? She wanted to destroy you. I'm protecting you, ma'am. Like I've been doing since the very beginning. <laughs> Hold the fuck up! You're the fucking ex! You're the ex! You're not the current love of M.M.'s life. You're the fucking ex! Don't matter if you're her sire or not. She does not need your protection. At what point did she ask for your protection? It's like... That boggles my mind. That Hilda continues to be in disillusionment. That M.M. wants nothing to do with her. That M.M. does not want to be with her. Like, you cannot even move on. This is a toxic fucking relationship where you're the obsessive yandere in this. No! Quit using me as an excuse! I never wanted you to protect me! That's on you! It has nothing to do with me. You're wrong. But it doesn't matter. I didn't expect you to understand. Listen to me. Things are going to change in Boston now. And fast. Hazel will fall, as will all those who support her. What? Are you planning to destroy everyone? Not me. No. Your friends in the SI. It's not as simple as that. All that for a goddamn throne. You know me better than that. Honestly, I don't think I do. I don't care about Boston. I know you have questions, and I know you don't believe me. But you have to trust me. Let the storm pass over, Mem. Nothing will happen to you. 
You want me to betray Hazel? You don't owe her anything. <laughs> why should I trust you? Exactly. Why should why should she trust you? You've been playing me for months now. Maybe even years. You've lied to me. You let me risk it all. And now you're asking me to believe you? You think I liked doing all of this? Yeah! I never wanted any of this. I was just doing what had to be done. We're free now, Mem. Free to start over. No! Do you trust me? Bitch! I swear to God! Bitch! This fucking bitch! Oh my god! Hilda! One plus size girl to another! You are not repping good representation for plus size women! Holy fuck! Like, my god! Get over yourself! She does not like you! She's just not that into you! She's just not that into you! You are such a fucking gaslighter! Holy shit! You are gaslighting the shit out of the fact that you were dumped on your stupid fucking ass! And it's like, yeah, it got so obsessive to where she started torturing the old king! And I get where that obsession could be fed by this large swath of power you fucking got, but you're still a controlling gaslighting cunt! No! Fuck you! Guess what? I want MM to be the new fucking high rank for the fucking Camarilla for the Toreadors. Fuck you. I'm sorry. You've gone way too far. <sighs> I have to tell Hazel. You should go. I see. I'm sorry. Don't do that. It's too late. Not surprised. Ready for- I'm ready for quick time events. Don't do that. I'll feed you when this is done, baby. No, no, no. I taught you well. Hilda, please! Stop! No, 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 no. Wrong end, idiot. So this is really it then? You made your choice! <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no! Give me something! Come on! And then you better not die here. You ruined everything! I'm sorry. It's tough to ki to kill your sire, but she was a cunt. Disasters bring out the best and the worst in us. They can plunge us into oblivion or signal the start of a golden age. Tonight will go down in history as the night we were able to prove we're not done yet. We demonstrated that our ability to adapt and change are the keys to our domination. The mortals were unable to break us thanks to our resilience. We never doubted our superiority over those weak creatures for a moment. Many sacrifices were necessary. Our domain was violated and our existence threatened. But this is nothing compared to everything we have lost. Our family has been battered. The blood of our servants flowed like water. 
Our own kind were decimated in the flames. We will never forget them. We had to establish new agreements, forge new alliances, because this is how we strengthen our kind. Now that our reunification has been confirmed, we can count on strong allies who will help us secure our blood supply. With powerful friends by our side, we will no longer be faced with those terrible moments when our dominion was challenged. Our old quarrels belong to the past. The trifles that separated us have been forgotten. Only one truth remains, our supremacy. Never again shall we be weak or disunited. That's what the mortals expect from us. Let us show them why we are the predators and they are the prey. Let us show them who their blood belongs to. Let us show them the power of immortality. The sacrifices are not over yet. Some will be lost. Others will lose what they have. But it will not be in vain. We are hunters, and what is taken from a hunter must be repaid a hundredfold. Our eternal nature is our greatest strength. Boston has shown that it is stronger than old London and venerable Vienna. Tonight, we have tasted vengeance. Tonight, a sea of blood will flow. Against all odds, the unification of the Hartford Chantry and the Boston Camarilla is secured through the efforts of M.M. M. Lewis. The two organizations are now working together with the hope of making history. However, there is still a long way to go in their quest for stabilized blood that will revolutionize the challenging issue of the kindred's blood supply. For now, the priority is to elude the Second Inquisition. Thanks to M.M.'s computer virus, the data of that the Long Island base has been corrupted. Without this painstakingly gathered information on the blank bodies, the SAD is forced to shut down Operation Swansong. It will be years before the SAD is once again able to hunt kindred in New England. Okay. We did it! Well, what happened with Laisha and uh, Halsey? Time to go. Okay. Okay. <laughs>